we're starting my first YouTube video. And I'm terrified. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Hi, guys. Hi. Oh my gosh. Welcome. <sighs> welcome. Guys, welcome to my first ever YouTube video. Welcome to my first ever YouTube video. Ever. Oh my god. You guys, it's about time. I've been talking about this for like a year. I didn't know where to start. I didn't know how to start. I felt like I didn't have the things. Yeah, so somebody requested that I do my favorites. Beauty related, not beauty related. Obviously that's way too long of a video to post on Instagram since they only have a minute. And I didn't really want to do an Instagram TV because, I mean, those never really work. And also, you can't really show all your favorites in one picture on Instagram. So, we're starting my first YouTube video. And I'm terrified. But we're going to do it because this is what I want to do with my life. So, first of all, you guys, thank you for watching. I'm so excited, you guys. I could cry. Oh, um... So, I have skincare favorites first because obviously what you do for the base of your makeup is going to help your makeup look flawless. So first up, you guys, is the Kylie Skin Foaming Face Wash, okay? It has such a nice pump. I only use half a pump because it lathers really well, but it's one of those cleansers that like makes you feel feel clean because it foams up and you can see it like all over your face. I always double cleanse so I go in with makeup wipes first if I'm wearing foundation. If I'm not wearing any foundation, no need for makeup wipes. I just go straight in with this. This gets everything off you guys. Mascara. I'm obsessed with it. It doesn't burn your skin. Nothing like that. And it doesn't really have a fragrance which is good because fragrance can be a little irritating to people with sensitive skin. But you guys... It's killer. I only use like half a pump. I'll just, whatever, I'll just show you. So you're just like. That's what all I use, okay. Okay, you guys, this is $24. I feel like that's pretty typical for high-end skincare. The next one, you guys. <laughs> Hi, Dwight. This is my cat, Dwight. He's also my favorite. We've had him since May. He's a character. I love him. Anyway, so this, the Glow 2O guys toner, bomb. So this one gets rid of dark spots. I don't really have any dark spots, but I do get breakouts occasionally. I use this only at night. Um, it has AHAs in it. Um, smells so good, you guys, but not like the kind where it's like straight up perfume. It's like it's, I don't think it's intended. Like they literally put in fragrance like that at all. Um, but I like it because one, I only use it at night. I've already said that. Whatever. So it lasts a really long time. I just put it on a cotton pad, beep, 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 after I wash my face and then I put my moisturizer on. But you guys, this has also made my skin tone even. And because I used to kind of have a lot of redness right here. Obviously, I'm wearing foundation, so you can't tell. But this is so nice and it gives you like the most natural glow when you're not wearing any foundation i'm definitely going to be buying more of this almost i'm almost out you guys so sad all right the next one you guys i don't know if you've ever heard of r and co so so good you guys so they actually sent these to me which i'm so grateful for thank you so so much r and co um but this isn't sponsored, nothing like that. I just really, really like these. Um, it's kind of like Olaplex where you only need like a little dime size amount, like it works and you don't need that much. What it does is it's called the television hair. So it's supposed to like make your hair like perfect. So it helps with like frizziness and smoothness and shine. And it just, I'm kind of picky with shampoo cause I mean, my hair is so dry. I mean, I live in a freaking desert, okay? So I'm kind of picky with how, like Olaplex, like I feel like that dries my hair out. But this is hydrating, but not hydrating to where it makes your hair feel like it's like sticking to your head and oily or anything like that. And it smells good. And I know they're tiny bottles, but since you only need the dime size amount, it is going to last forever. I've used this four times already and I'm like only to, I don't know if you guys can even see that. But I'm only to there and I have really long hair, like super long hair, okay? 
you guys if you have the budget for it these are a little pricey I think they're like $32 definitely give it a try they have a whole bunch of different shampoos to cater they have one for like curly hair they have one for volume they have one for shine um, but I have found that I really like this it works with my hair type I wake up and my hair's not frizzy not too heavy it's nice and lightweight and fluffy like this but it's nice and shiny and healthy looking if you guys are looking for something new pick them up I think you can order them well obviously you can order them from R and Co's website um, I'm not really sure where else they're carried but I love them this one I'm super excited to share because it is made here where in my hometown and it is the Camille Beckman hand creams, you guys. I've gone through so many of these. I need to go buy more. I have one in both of my purses. I have one in my school backpack. I have one in my nightstand. I am so obsessed. And this is the only hand cream that I've found where you can put it on, you can feel it like soak into your skin, but it's not like you put like a bunch of grease and oil. It's a glycerin base, which means it's a little bit thicker, but it's also gonna help that skin barrier repair itself and they smell so good and they're made with quality ingredients i love the people who make them and what they stand for and i also love the fact that hello it's in my hometown i'm gonna support it and it's right down the road so i can go back buy them if i need more or they have a super awesome website but you guys these smell so good cruelty free so the ones that i have are the three ounce ones okay those are $9.95. Some of them are on sale, like the Summer Waves one. So this one, this one's on sale for $6.95. So good. And everything is really, really lightly scented, so it's not going to irritate your skin. Um, it's not going to, like, as soon as you put it on, it's not going to be like you got punched in the face with the perfume. But they each smell phenomenal. I love almost every scent. I haven't smelled them all, but I just love everything that I try. Um, but yeah, they are $9.95. But, I mean, I've had these since the summer. You just need, like, a little dollop, and you're good to go, girl. My boyfriend got this for me in a kit. It is the Laneige Sleeping Mask. Oh, my gosh. It's the berry one. Yeah. Oh. Smells so good. Kind of smells like candy. Okay, I'm not going to lie. But, oh, my gosh. It is, like, so rich. It's a lip sleeping mask, but, I mean, like, I wear it like almost 24 7 because it's that good you put it on your lips and it looks like you're wearing like the most gorgeous like lip gloss it's gonna last all day I mean it's supposed to last all night so it's gonna last you a really 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 long time you just need a little bit and it really helps restore your lips to its initial integrity and everything that I mention I'll link down below in the bio so this is just a mini because I got it in a kit but the full size are $20. They have a few different flavors, I guess. They have vanilla, the berry one, and then I think mint. Oh, apple, lime. That one's gonna good. So that's about it for skincare. Um, now we can move into the fun part, which is the makeup. Hello. Um, so we'll kind of start in order. We'll start with primers. Boom, you guys. Another Ola Henriksen product. My friend Hannah. Girl. She got me this because she knows I love it, or I love the brand, and knew that I wanted to try it. But this gives you the most illuminated, like, but soft illumination look underneath your skin, which is the perfect canvas for your primer. It helps brighten, has vitamin C in it, which is also very good for your skin. Um, I don't know if it'll pick up on camera, but I'll kind of show you what it's supposed to do. So, I mean, this is what it looks like, and then kind of like rub it in and it just gives you like you see that sheen it just gives you the most natural healthy looking glow I'm obsessed with it my skin is so dry so I'm always on the lookout for something that is going to make me look glowy everything like that okay take a shot for how many times I touch my hair because gosh gosh darn girl <laughs> it's 38 okay but it's part of the clean beauty at Sephora so it's full of quality ingredients again not scented or heavily scented so it's not gonna irritate your skin and the next one is the milk hydro grip primer this is my second container that's why it looks full okay you guys this is so good it's so hydrating it has um it has that good cushion in it okay it has the good stuff in it, okay? I'm sorry, I had to say it, but it's gonna help soothe your skin. It's gonna help really hydrate and lock in that hydration that your skin needs. This is my ride or die. This is my ride or die in the summer, you guys, because it keeps 
everything on my face even when it's 90 degrees outside and it's dry as hell outside this is a lifesaver okay no scent to it nothing at all I just do one pump all over my whole face wait for it to get a little tacky and then rub my foundation on my brush or my beauty blender um, but it's not too tacky where when you use a beauty blender it pulls it off it just is really nice um, primer for your base Okay, you guys, okay, okay, I heard you, stop, stop, stop. We're gonna talk about foundation now, okay, fine. Tarte found sealer. Oh my God, dry skin girls. Holy grail, okay. This has babasu in it. So good, okay, you guys. It's medium coverage. I would say it's medium coverage. You can build it up to full coverage. It's not heavy, like if you do build it up, you don't feel like you have two layers of foundation on. It's really, really, really hydrating. I mean, it's so nice and it gives you like the most dewy finish. Like it is, like I can't say enough good things about it. It does have SPF in it. It's SPF 20. Um, I use this all the time in the summer. I usually use one pump and then just spread it around and use a brush. People with oily skin, I would ask for a sample first to try it. I don't think it's too dewy where you wouldn't be able to get away with it, but I don't think you'll be able to get a long of wear or you'll have to touch up more than you would like if you tried this. If you're hesitant, go get a sample. It's free, you know, and if you hate it, good. You don't have to try it again. If you love it, well, now you know that you love it. It's $39, okay? That's pretty typical for Tarte Cosmetics. I feel like most of their other foundations are about that price. This next one just came out. Girl, Bite Beauty, what's it? Change Maker. It's the Supercharged Micellar Foundation. This, I'm wearing it right now, gives me the most natural, light coverage I mean because you can still see like my pimples through it but like you see this glow not the highlighter glow okay just like this general like I only set underneath my eyes typically because of how dry I am I'm in the shade L25 I think it's like a perfect match or close to a perfect match I just do a really really thin streak down my face take my finger and kind of dab it around and then Use a beauty blender, you guys. I'm gonna be real with you. When I first tried this, I hated it, but I also did a streak on this side, a streak on this side, so I put too much on. Then I used a brush, and so I had tons of brush strokes and streak marks, and then it took some of my product off, so I put more on. I felt super cakey. It felt like it was just like sitting on top of my face. I tried it again the next day game changer okay I put one streak on kind of put it all over my face took a beauty blender and said oh hello I'm gonna use you now okay oh my god it looked so much like skin you could hardly tell I was wearing foundation until I like obviously put all my contour and blush and everything on everybody everybody needs to try this okay I don't care if you're matte oily combo I think this has a lot of benefits to it, it's clean, it's vegan, cruelty free. Okay, it's $39, which is really good. Um, actually, I don't know if it's cruelty free. Um, so they say it's a medium coverage. I would agree with that. Um, with a beauty blender, I feel like it takes me down to a light coverage, just because it's a sponge and it's kind of soaking up the co um, coverage. So it says it's good for combo, oily, dry skin, all of them. I would agree. I feel like I make it dewy by not setting it and putting a lot of setting spray on. Everybody and their mom talks about this. I'm sure you all know what it is. It's the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This is my third jar. I have another one in my makeup kit because it gives you such a nice blurred finish without looking too cakey. I bake with my brides on it. I just set my under eyes with it. I feel like it doesn't oxidize or change the color of your foundation or anything like that, but it also doesn't have any flashback, which is perfect for my brides because obviously they're getting tons of pictures on their wedding day. But I just love how much this blurs your skin, you guys. I've tried other powders and then I'm like, thought I thought were good. And then I kept going back to this and I'm like, oh. It's like you're wearing an Instagram filter, okay? It's basically an Instagram filter in a jar. Next on the list is my favorite blush. I'm wearing it right now. Super subtle, just gives you a little bit of a hint of something something. And I mean, I use this in like almost every single one of my makeup looks. Baddie on the block blush. You guys, this is the most gorgeous pink blush, okay? But it's not blush where like you dip your brush in and boom, like you just got punched in the face. You're so blushy, no. 
basically. I like swirl my brush around, tap off the excess, and I just go really, really lightly, and you can layer it. So, see how it just gives you like a nice, gorgeous little wash of pink? I really, really like it. I've had this since the summer, you guys. I've used it, I swear, almost every single day, and I'm not even like close to hitting pan. Like, you can still see the drips from the packaging. So this girl is gonna last you forever. If you're scared of blush, try these. They will not disappoint you guys. So the blushes are $18 actually, that's not bad. Um, especially how long it's gonna last you. I'm, I'm obsessed, what can I say? What can I say? All right. Next you guys, this is pretty new on my list. I bought it in December, but holy cow, holy cow. It's the Juvia's Place Loose Highlighter in the shade Cleo. If you're wondering what's on my cheeks, it's this. This will also, how long do you think this is gonna last you? I mean, it's a huge jar and all I do when I use it is I open it up and I literally just take what's on the lid. Are you kidding me, you guys? It is the most gorgeous glow. I feel like it looks pretty wet on my face. It doesn't look, it doesn't emphasize texture. Just be careful, okay? Because, I mean, loose highlighters can go south really, really quick. But it's not glittery, does not emphasize texture. It's really, really affordable. And you guys, you can put this in with lotion. You can put this on your chest, on your legs, mix it in with foundation and put, like, it, like it's so versatile, you guys. You can use it as, an eyeshadow, an inner corner highlight, like anything you guys can dream of. You can even mix it with lip gloss and make a really nice shimmery lip gloss. It's $14, okay? and this puppy is gonna last you forever, okay? So you guys need to get it, okay? I told you, you need to get it. Next, you guys, is honestly probably the best mascara I've ever tried in my life. It's the Tarte Maneater Mascara. I was hesitant when I got this because the brush, I don't know if you guys have seen the brush, this is what it looks like. Okay, come on. So it's like really, really, really long with tiny bristles, you guys. And I've tried one like this before and I hated it. So I'm like, oh man, like, I don't know. No, I tried this. This mascara is one of the only mascaras that keeps my lashes up and curled because my lashes are stick straight. And the little tiny brushes on the bristles, they get every single lash. It's like, I've never had my lashes be clumpy from this guy. It doesn't smear, oh my god. I've had so many mascaras and it's been so hard to find a mascara that doesn't like come down here and smear and make you look like a raccoon. Also, I think they have a mini of it too, so you can try it. And it's super easy to come off when you wash it, so like it's not waterproof, you don't have to sit there and scrub your eye. This is $24, I can tell you that off the top of my head. You guys asked for my favorites, I'm just, I'm just telling you, okay, okay? That's it, okay, that's all she wrote. Actually, that's not all she wrote. We're gonna talk about the Fenty Gloss Bomb right now. Everybody and their dog, okay, I feel like knows about this now because it's been out for a few years and I have the original shade which is Fenty Glow. This gloss is like butter, it is not sticky. I hate sticky glosses, oh my god. I'll put it on right now, okay? You can layer it with lipsticks that you're wearing right now. I love the doe foot applicator on it. I love that it's so big. Are you kidding me? So so pretty. And this gloss actually lasts a really, really long time when you first apply it. 10 out of 10 product. The next one, game changer. This is LA Girl, okay, you see this right here, LA Girl. This is their lip liner in the shade Keeping It Spicy. And it's an automatic lip liner. And oh my God, you guys, I use this underneath every single lipstick that I wear, okay? It's like that perfect nudie brown, mauve like it's like I can't explain it you guys besides like just like that color right there maybe okay so what I do I'll go like well obviously I'll line my whole lips in it and then I'll kind of fill in the, sh the sides right here then and it's like two dollars you guys two dollars and I've gone through what two of these and I have one in my makeup kit as well it is like so long lasting. I think it's better than MAC liners, okay? I said it, I said it, I'm sorry, but it is, in my opinion. And they have tons of different shades too. So if you're needing a nude lip liner or red lip liner, glides on, does not pull, but stays all day, 
she is your girl. The next one, so the Dose of Colors, this is the Desi Katie, um, it's like a liquid velvet lipstick. This is the shade of Mob Story, it's the one I'm wearing right now. It's a really pretty mauve -y color, but what I do is, so I line my lips with the lip liner, and then I only put this on my bottom lip, and then, like, rub my lips together like that, and then I'll take my finger and kind of blend it in so it doesn't look so, like, lipsticky and it kind of helps make it last longer because you push it into your lips it's very comfortable to wear all day because it's thin but gives you that coverage and it's also velvet so it doesn't like make your lips look like butthole mouth the next one uh, the next one you guys is the jeffree star velour liquid lipsticks i don't know if any of you guys have tried his stuff but you need to okay these are matte, they will dry down, they will last you all day. I've gone out to eat, I've had a burger, I've had salad, like literally anything. When you take a drink on that glass, this is not gonna be on it. I've kissed my boyfriend with this. I love the applicator. So it has a little bit of a bend in it, so it fits like exactly to the contours of your lips. It, but it's very lightweight formula, but it's super, super, super opaque. So you just need like one swipe and that puppy is on there. So his Velour Liquid Lipsticks are $18, but sis, Sis, they will last you all day. Next up, you guys, is the best brow gel I've ever tried. I've used this for years. Again, I have another one in my makeup kit. It's the Benefit 24-Hour Brow Setter, and each one of these probably lasts me like three, four months, so it's $24, but it lasts you a really long time, and I have really, really thick brows. This is all I'm wearing in my brows right now is just the gel. I don't have them filled in or anything just because I'm lazy and I didn't feel like it. But I really like the paddle because it has two different sides of combs on this on both sides. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just lay all the gel on my brows with the paddle and then I'll go in with the longer side of the bristles and just kind of brush it up and shape them how I want. Give her a try if you guys are needing a new brow gel and you're like, Benefit, I love you. Thank you so much. Don't ever discontinue this or we're going to have a problem. Next up, you guys. Next up is probably the best neutral eyeshadow palette I've ever tried in my whole entire life and I've been in, I've been a makeup connoisseur for quite some time now. I'm sure you guys know this. BAM! It's the Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Volume 1. Only six shades, but they each have a different finish. So it's so cool. So you have the mattes here on the bottom and then you have the sequins on the top which are just mattes with like a gorgeous shimmer in them. And what's cool about that, you guys, is if you put the mattes on, the shimmer doesn't come out. Like, it's not like a shimmer top coat. Then you have the metallics right here, which make your eyes look wet. They're so pretty. And then you have glitters. I've never seen pressed glitters that literally just, like, you can touch and you can swatch. Like, most pressed glitters are so splotchy. They do not go on well. You need glitter glue with them, but no. These... Bomb. Oh, it's just so good. I'm obsessed with it. It's $48 and I just checked it is currently in stock you guys. I had to wait two months for this because I pre-ordered it and then it sucked waiting that long. If you guys can get it and you have the money for it and you're looking for a new eyeshadow palette that you can take everywhere, it could be an everyday thing, but it can also give you like a nice smoky eye for a girl's night out, like you need to get this. The colors blend like butter. I've never had a matte shadow that blends so nicely. I've never had pressed glitters that you can just pop on. Holy cow, this is a home run. My God, I cannot believe I just filmed my first YouTube video. I'm actually really nervous and I think that's part of the reason why I never uploaded one. If you guys watched it all the way to the end, thank you so much. I think it is so much fun like showing you guys my art and like when you guys ask me questions and like I'm able to help you or give you an answer, like that just like, that makes me feel really good because this is just something I'm so, so passionate about. So thank you guys for watching this. It just means a lot to me. Just having you watch me. Hi, I'm watching you right back. But I don't know when my next video will be out because I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do. But also, um, I'm ordering a whole bunch of like YouTube filming equipment and hopefully that shows up pretty soon. But oh my gosh. Bye. Bye. I'll see you later. <laughs> okay. I don't, oh my god, rude, oh my god.